Yi's mental health does not excuse bigotry. Expert says. <laughs> Expert, don't join the matter too. <laughs> it don't read. Now, please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so we are going to be dissecting together. Tap that red subscribe button. Welcome back, Trending Gist Lovers. Okay, so according to expert Carla Manley, a clinical psychologist, this is an official statement from Carla. So it says, we want to recognize that this person may have their own very strong beliefs on religion or politics. And we want to call that out as being separate from the mental health diagnosis. Another clinical psychologist called Andrea Bonnier, I hope I didn't model that name, the person said, if we assume that every person with mental health issues is a racist, that does them a disservice and increases the stigma, which, on, which ultimately keeps people from getting help. And if we assume that every person who spouts of bigoted beliefs has a mental illness, we are turning our backs on the cultural changes that we need to address in terms of, uh, in terms of implicit bias. So these two comments that I just read to you, it's coming from two clinical psychologists, okay? One named Carla Manley and the other Andrea Bonnier. Comment down below and let me know what you think. I think these statements are coming after uh, he, people call him he, I prefer calling him Kanye West. I don't know what nonsense he calls himself, he. Anyways, <laughs> that's not what we're here to discuss. But these comments and more statements, if you want to go on Instagram, Twitter, and you see a whole lot of Americans and people from other parts of the world tweeting about this after the tweet from Kanye West where he said stuff about the Jewish people and that he was feeling sleepy, but when he wakes up, he is coming for the Jewish people. But Twitter was quick to delete the tweet and delete his account, so I guess he's still sleeping. Comment down below and let me know your opinion.